All right, what's going on, contenders? A lot of you in a recent poll that I posted said that you have a hard time getting inside, that this is one of your biggest problems. And I can tell you, me being 5'7 on a good day, this was my problem every round of my boxing. I mean, I could say that this is all I thought about. So I've already, I already have about 10 different ways that I like to get inside. And I even have an instructional video for it on my website, head movement and getting inside. It's in all my packages. It's an hour of just that. So today I want to show you probably my favorite method. It works almost every time. Now it doesn't mean you're going to land when you get there. So it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed that you're going to, you're going to land shots because your opponent might have good defense, but you will get to where you want to be so that you have a better chance of landing shots. Now there are a couple critical components that you need to know, some preliminaries that you need to know. So have a little bit of patience because this is more lesson style. This is for those who really want to know and I'm going to break down the details. I mean, I can show you in four minutes some quickity stuff and you're going to think that you're going to know and you're going to walk away and go in the gym and try to use it and it's not going to work, okay? Because there's some preliminaries that you need to know and you need to have a little bit of patience to watch this video to get that information. Before we get into that, the technical stuff, this channel is purely for technical. Boxing Home Workouts is my new channel. Go check it out, the link is down below. All workouts there, 10 round, eight round, 12 round, shadow boxing, heavy bag workouts, shadow boxing workouts. If you're into the workouts, go there. If you're not into the workouts, don't go there, <laughs> all right? Stay here, but the workouts are legit. The kind of workouts that I've set up there are for people who really wanna push themselves, people who really wanna challenge themselves. It's the real deal, stuff that I would do in the gym, combos broken down, everything, all the tactics and details. So anyways, go check it out. All right, you wanna get inside. Okay, first thing that we need to do is we need to consider that the opponent is not only taller, most likely taller, but has a longer reach. So what you have to know in your mind is that when you are in front of your opponent wanting to go after them, there's an imaginary place where the end of their fist would be if they were to step in and throw a punch at you. And what you need to do is you need to avoid passing your head through that spot, okay? From there, their fist, if they were to punch, it would be here, okay? So you have to already understand and know this space without seeing a fist coming out at you, without anything, you have to start to get an understanding of where that space is. Sometimes with a new sparring partner opponent, it may take you a minute or a round to figure that out. So when you're moving here, if you're gonna go straight in, if you were to throw at the same time as you go to them and they throw you, you're gonna pass into that space and you're gonna get hit. So you want to avoid that space altogether and that's gonna be the first tactic. But probably the biggest mistake that a lot of shorter fighters make is that when they can't get inside to begin with, they start to move backwards here, laterally and backwards. And they try to go from moving backwards to moving forward and getting in. And you're never gonna get in that way. You're always gonna have a hard time if you have a taller opponent you can't get inside on and they start walking you down and you start moving back like this, like you see Wilder against Fury. Wilder started to move back like this and you decide to switch, okay? They're gonna see you coming every time and you're not gonna be able to get inside on them. So the first preliminary that you have to know is that you have to already be moving forward or what I would say laterally forward. That if, if I was to have a top-down camera view, it would look like you're spiraling in towards the center, okay? So you need to understand this. This is really critical. If I'm moving here laterally, I'm moving in a perfect circle, okay, that's fine. Perfect circle. If I'm moving backwards, or I'm moving laterally but further away, see how I'm moving in a circle but further away? Momentum is not on my side. I have to stop that direction and go forward. Same here, if I'm moving laterally, but see I'm going further, okay, I'm, I'm tracing a bigger circle, I'm gonna have to change my direction, change my momentum. So here, as I'm moving laterally around my opponent, I want to move laterally and forward, see? So slowly, I'm getting towards my destination, towards my goal. Now the opponent, if they're trying to get away from you, is going to adapt to that, but that's okay because you're at least moving forward. So the first critical component is that you wanna make sure that you're not moving backward before you launch and you're not moving laterally and away. You need to be moving laterally and forward or at least forward. 
The way to do this, if you're already moving backwards and the opponent's got you, you got to get laterally and then get to a spot where you're safe and you can start moving forward again. A great example, if you want to see a great example, is um, watch Pacquiao versus De La Hoya. Even though Pacquiao was way ahead of De La Hoya's skill and, and fitness and athleticism at the time, you watch how Pacquiao is working the perimeter and then finding his spot, boom, to get inside. Okay, having said that, let's get into the first technique or tactic, and this is what you need to know. So here I am, I'm moving around. There's that imaginary spot that I don't want my head to pass through. So what's the first thing I can do? Well, I get my head off the center line with a little step, okay? So here I take this little step, like so, and then from this little step, my head is off the center line, I can gazelle jump my way in, gazelle step my way in. That's the first, easiest, most basic way to get inside. Now these ways are gonna lead to the more advanced stuff that I'm gonna show you in a second. So here I'm moving, I'm moving around, I step, and there, I get in on my opponent just from that little step. This, this is classic Tyson stuff, slip, jab. This is, you watch Tyson in his younger days sparring, he's, he's either jabbing to the body or he's slipping to the outside. This is classic Tyson stuff. So here, we got one. I, my head is off the center line, okay? I'm not even in yet, and then, boom, and then I go in. I'm moving to the right, but to the right and slightly forward. Here, I take this back foot, I bring it up. Okay, that gets me closer. As I do that, look at that, I drop my head, see here? Here, see that? I load the back leg, bend my knees. Here, watch, my head is off the center line. Okay, and I'm in easy, <clears throat> all right? Those first two are the basic way just to get you in. It's like a, a two-beat rhythm, step, go, step, go. The thing about it is the outside fighter tends to see this a lot, so they're gonna pick up on it pretty quick. But you need to know this and you need to be able to work it here, okay, so that you can get inside. Now, once you have that, Here's where the beauty and the magic starts to come in and your creativity starts to come in. Is that you can start to fake it. <laughs> Lomachenko does this a lot. Watch Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. He spent like almost rounds just doing this, just faking. You can go with the head and then with the foot. Now the opponent, the taller fighter, doesn't really know when you're coming or what you're coming with. And once you start to be able to step and go, step and go, and then start to fake it, okay, now the options open up for you. So here's the first main option, watch this one. I'm gonna step to the left, fake, and I'm gonna duck my way under to this side. What you need to do to be able to work this is you need to be working on your slip line, okay? Working on your slip line, slip line drill. I have a slip line video. Once you have that, these are the two motions. So here's how it goes. I fake to the left, fake, and then I duck my way under here. Here I am, here, I fake and I duck. And watch, okay? I haven't even had to step. I could do this from further out here, here, and then, and then step. Because sometimes you don't always need to get inside, you just need to get to the place that you need to be to, to launch from, you need to get to the launch pad. You don't even need, I don't even need to, to, to get there. I just need to, here, I need to get here. And then as they're adjusting to me, then I go in. Sometimes you can even stall it, step, break with a little bit more head movement, and then you go, all right? So you see how that first one is working? Step, under. Same thing on the right side, step. Here, boom. The beauty about the duck across is that if they throw anything at you, as you go across getting to the inside, you're gonna block it. You keep your hands up, okay? Here, boom, 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 and then you're right there. So if you see it in slow motion, step, here, step, here. This alone has gotten me inside on almost anybody because if you at least get to the center of the ring, 
or even a little bit from the center of the ring, one more step and they're at the ropes. Like you could take them here, okay? See here, here, and then one more step and they're at the ropes, you pretty much covered the whole ring. All right, next variation. This variation is faster, it's quicker, I like it better. I've seen Hopkins use it. I've actually seen Deontay Wilder use it. Uh, I think when he fought Stiverne, he did this when he was about to knock him out the second time. Uh, it's a shift without having to duck. It's faster, it's a little more dangerous, right? Because you're crossing through the line of fire. So you keep your hands up. So the same thing goes, here. I step, it's a small step, it's not big, because you don't want too much weight. I step, and then I just shift. Boom, and I'm right there. So it looks like this. Here, boom. Now I'm landing kind of hard because we're just doing it in a drill, but it would look like this. That, if I was to really work it, I would go, and then I would just go forward. So it kind of looks more like this. See that? Almost like I'm skating. Step, step. I don't even really let this foot, front foot totally lock down. I kind of start to, as it comes in, glide it forward. Now look. Okay, I can cover a lot of ground doing that. I could, and like I said, once you get there, you don't have to fire. Let's say you get here. Then you duck more, bah, and then you go. <laughs> That's how you throw off the timing and the rhythm of your opponent. Now even nicer, this way. <laughs> Look, all right. Okay, it's beautiful, it's beautiful stuff. Here I am moving, moving. Oh, come on. Who's gonna stop me from getting inside doing that? Like, it's not happening. Okay, you're gonna have to catch me perfect. Here, faking, moving. Okay, and then I'm right inside, right where I wanna be. I gotta do a tutorial for you guys on this reflex bag. Anyways, that's another video. Okay, so you see how that works? Okay. Boom, okay? Okay, don't get too planted. Okay, no, 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 stay light, stay light. Okay, stay light. These techniques, these ways of getting inside, they will work for you. If you're not sure, if you're, if you're you have to get through the line of fire, you're gonna get inside. Doesn't matter which way you come in, all right? But if you're gonna come in this way and you're scared and you're worried about it, okay, just bring your hands with you as you go in, as you go through the line of fire. Work on your head movement, work on your single step, okay? Work on your slip line, all right? Work on your step and go. These tactics right here, for shorter fighters, 90%, almost sure far away, you're getting inside no matter what. So, and I know, this is, these are some of my favorite tactics, some of my best stuff share with you right now. All right, you guys, make sure to hit the like button, hit that like button down there for me, subscribe. Check out precisionstriking.com. That's where I have all my instructional. If you want information like this, but deeper and more in depth, more content, and if you're into the workouts, don't forget boxing home workouts. It's for you at home, but it's, they're legit. All right, they're legit. I, I don't hold anything back. They're challenging me. They're gonna challenge you. Anyways, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.